Hi guys, we have a problem here that has to do with uh, calculation of the quantity of flow of water through an aquifer. So I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. So the question is, a confined aquifer is 33 meters thick and 7 kilometers wide. Two observation wells are located 1.2 kilometers apart in the direction of groundwater flow. The hairs in well A is 97.5 meters and uh, in well B 89.0 meters. If the hydraulic conductivity is 1.2 meters per day, what is the total delta flow of water through the aquifer? So as you can see, I made a sketch here in order to visualize the problem. So remember, it is not compulsory for you to, to draw a diagram unless you ask to do so. So what we want to find is uh, the total daily flow of water through the aquifer. So, as you can see here, we have uh, the thickness of the aquifer is giving us the three uh, meters wide. The aquifer is uh, seven kilometer wide. So the distance between the two observation wells is uh, one point two kilometers. So. Uh, this is the two observation well with A and with B, and uh, uh, the head of the well A is 97.5 meters, and uh, the head of well B is 89.0 uh, meters. So in case you, you don't know what the word uh, head mean, let me briefly explain what word head mean. So the word head is synonymous to, to a water table, isometric level, and hydraulic head. So they all mean uh, the same thing. The word head can be defined as uh, the height to which uh, water can rise in a piezometer or a well relative to a datum. A datum. The datum is usually taken to be mean sea level. Mean sea level. So as you can see uh, in this diagram, we have uh, a sea here, and uh, we have uh, uh, a well far away from the sea. And the water level uh, in this well uh, uh, rise uh, to this position. And uh, here is the mean sea level. So if you uh, measure the height uh, from here to here, uh, what you get is the, is the head of this well. So the elevation uh, from here to here is the head of the well. So that's what uh, head mean. So in order to solve this problem, we are going to use this formula, Q is equal to Ka, open bracket h1 minus h2 over l close bracket so this formula is uh, derived from uh, uh, Darcy's law so q which is what we are looking for yeah, that is uh, the quantity of uh, or the amount of uh, you know water obtainable from a, a well or a borehole, which in this case uh, is a total delta flow of water through an, uh, the aquifer. So, K, which is uh, the constant of proportionality in Darcy's equation, and is also known as a, a coefficient of permeability or hydraulic conductivity, is given to us as uh, 1.2 meters per day. That is, look at it here. Uh, 
1.2 meters per day. So it is uh it is the uh, the measure of the ease of uh, flow of fluid to a porous media. So next uh, is uh, a a which is the area of the aquifer. Uh, the area of the aquifer, uh, as, you, as you can see, uh, the width of the aquifer is given to us as 33 meters. So 33 meters multiplied by seven kilometers, which is the length of the aquifer. The length of the aquifer, uh, um, that is uh, seven kilometers, uh, multiplied by 1,000 in order to convert it, uh, in order to convert it to the mirrors, because all our calculation must be in mirrors. So there are three mirrors uh, times uh, 7,000 mirrors. So we are going to get uh, uh, 33 meters multiplied by 7,000 meters is equal to 231,000 uh, 231, uh, meters. So of course it is in a meter square because uh, it is an area. So next uh, is the is uh, H1, H1, which is a head of a uh, well A, which is giving us uh, 97 point five meters. And then the head of uh, well B is giving us, uh, which is H2, is giving us 89.0 uh, meters. So lastly, we have the distance between the two observation worlds, which is uh, 1.2 kilometers. And again, we are going to uh, convert uh, the 1.2 kilometers to meters. So it's a 1.2 uh, times uh, 1,000, which is equal to 1,200 meters. So uh, now we're going to substitute uh, the above values into the formula. So we have uh, K, which is uh, 1.2 meters per day times the area, which is uh, 231,000 meters square, 231,000 meters square, open bracket, um, 97 point uh, five meters minus 89.0 meters close bracket over uh, 1200 meters so next uh, Let's multiply 1.2 uh, meters per day by, by 231,000 meters square. So we have uh, 277,000 200 uh, meter cube per day. So by doing dimension analysis, we have a meter cube per day because uh, meter uh, per day times uh, meter square is equal to meter cube per day. So that is how we got this unit. So, uh, let's uh, 
subtract um, 89.0 from uh, 97.5. So 97.5 meters minus uh, 89.0 meters is equal to 8.5. So we have uh, 8.5 meters over 1,200 meters, close bracket. So these meters will cancel out. So if we divide 8.5 meters, I mean 8.5 by 1,200, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get uh, 0, uh, 0.00, so uh, we have uh, 277,200 meter cube per day multiplied by 0 0 0.0073 Three, 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 three. So let's multiply it by 277,200 meter cube per day. So our final answer is 1,936, you know. 0.5 meter cube per day. So this is our final answer. So the total data flow, the total daily flow Of, of water through the aquifer is 1,936.5 meter cube per day. So guys, thank you for watching uh, if you like my my video please uh like and subscribe bye